Hello everybody, it's Pineapple Pat one here, and this is five reasons not to buy the new 2014 Mac Mini. Let's get into that. So a couple of weeks ago, Apple had their event announcing a couple of iPads, a new Retina 5K display, and this new Mac Mini. And at first I thought, hey, it's getting a price drop down from $599 to $499. It's getting the new Haswell processors. What's so bad? And then I said, hey, maybe I should upgrade to it, you know, since it's all better and stuff. So I started looking into it. I never buy anything without researching it first. It has two and a half stars on Amazon, and I said, why? I have five reasons in no specific order. Number one, it's actually slower to do tasks than the 2012 version. Any Geekbench test it actually showed that the 2012 model could outperform, or at least keep right up on its tail. And that's not supposed to happen if you look at something like the iPad Air and the iPad Air 2. That's double right there, okay? That's what's supposed to happen every generation. You're supposed to have a big, a big reason to uh, want to swap. Number two, the RAM is no longer user upgradable. You used to be able to flip it upside down, grab the two notches and be able to open it up and then see everything. You used to be able to see your fan, your RAM sticks, and you could upgrade that RAM from four gigs all the way up to 16 but now they have soldered the ram to the logic board you better know how much ram you want because four gigs is not future proofing it at all it's going to have a very very short life cycle if you don't want to be pissed off at it so that means you have to go through apple to get your ram now and apple likes to rape for the ram who in the right minds would pay 200 dollars for a ram upgrade ram doesn't cost that much money you can get 16 gigs of ram for like a hundred bucks. Number three, there's no more quad core option. They have done away with all the quad core options and now they're just sticking to dual core options. Now quad core can run twice as fast as a dual core. Think of it as a highway. A dual core has two lanes of traffic, but a quad core has four lanes of traffic to get your specific task done faster. Not that the dual cores are bad, but the quad cores are just better and I don't see why you would get rid of them. Number four, they took away the second SATA connection that gave you access to add a second hard drive or an SSD or whatever you wanted, but now you can only have one hard drive. Although you can still upgrade it, swap out, they haven't taken that option away from us yet. They haven't soldered the hard drive to the motherboard. And the fifth reason, the top tier Mac Mini is going to cost you upwards of $2,000. And you can take a 2012 Mac, buy the top of the line model for used. You know, it's still going to be good, but it's going to be used. You could buy the top of the line i7, whatever the top graphics card was. Put 16 gigs of RAM in there. Put a couple of SSDs. Put a hard drive in there. And that is going to run you maybe a thousand dollars thousand two hundred planned obsolescence that's what pisses me off as the years go by maybe two or three years go by now you have to buy a new one apple is like a bmw see you're paying for the brand you're paying for that apple logo and you're paying for the premium bill going. thank you for watching if you have anything to say on this topic please leave it in the comment section down below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say while you're down there maybe hit the like button and if you're not subscribed yet I do something like this every Tuesday, talk about something in the world of technology that gets my chains rattling. So if you'd like to subscribe for the latest in tech, please do that. I will not disappoint. And if I do, sorry. Thank you for watching, subscribe for the latest in tech, and I will see you later. 127 subscribers.